Hello YouTube, Nerdy Librarian here. For those of you who haven't been watching the Fallout New Vegas series, you're probably sitting here and going, okay, look at that, he's playing Seven Days to Die. The other subset of you who has been watching me play Fallout New Vegas is probably going, hold up, hold up, you released a Shellshock Live video and now you're doing Seven Days to Die? Why? When are we going to get back to Fallout New Vegas? Answer is, I don't know. And the reason for that is, I'm never exactly sure when I'm going to be able to get content out. Or record a video for that matter. Life is a little crazy and hectic at the moment in a time of transition. That being said, we have a little bit of time to be able to sit down and just, you know, do something for fun. And I thought, you know, what's a game that I like? Seven Days to Die. And guess what? It just recently got an update. Well, yes and no. This was probably a month and a half, two months ago. Update 1.0 aka the official release date of this game or the official release version of this game it's been updated a little bit since then but the gist still remains the same always kind of fun to jump into this game and see what's changed and just have some fun in a zombie crafting survival game it's also october but that's neither here nor there that's you know only a little bit uh, a, a semi-ambiguous holiday that happens this month. You know? You know what I mean, right? But, does it have to be October to be able to play this game? Of course not. This is just a fun time to be able to sit down and play this. And, thank you everybody who's watching this, or who's going to be watching this on YouTube. Very appreciative of that. While you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Well, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below on would you like to see more of this content, more Shellshock Live, more Fallout New Vegas. Do you have any random topics you'd like to talk about? Just, just fun stuff. Fun stuff like that. And I know, it sounds like I'm blathering on a little bit while the world is generating. And you know what? Good on you for noticing that. That's entirely accurate takes to generate a world make radiation great again yeah save water okay writing the data files we are getting close we are getting very here we go loading game data we're about to hop right into this one guys I'm kind of excited for this this is one of my favorite games just for obvious reasons it's an open world survival crafting game that Chef's Kiss. That spent 10 or so years in pre release, beta testing, etc., 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 etc. It's just, it's exciting to see it in, in full game status. And actually, recently with that new update, added some new POIs. Um,. Oh, let's see here. Added in some better graphics. Um, what I, I have to tell you guys, I'm trying trying to remember it now, but uh, whew, on the wind and yeah, it was good. Anybody who oh in the, your 40s or 50s, you'll probably remember this show a little bit. For those who aren't, you may have seen this a little bit, found it on YouTube, whatever. Show called Hee Haw. Fantastic show, guys. Give that one a check. Check that one out. It's it's a fantastic show. Um, but, you know, recently, you know, still waiting here, my wife and I have been going back and re-watching some of the Pirates of the Caribbean series. Right? And I have to say... Curse the Black Pearl is still my favorite. Oh, what's this? A spawn button I see? Let's go ahead and hop right into this one, guys. Actually, while we're doing this as well, I need to adjust a couple of settings on this. Okay, so we can see it's still generating some things. We have tutorial. Uh, let's go to our options menu here. So first, Video, I want to go over to quality and motion blur, 
we want to turn that off. I have seen other people play this, and everybody keeps saying you need to turn motion blur off, which is sound advice. But look at these graphics, guys. They're so good. The graphics on this are fantastic. And then uh, we're going to go over here to audio. Um... Let's see, I yeah, I have the in-game music down real low, and if YouTube says, hey, you have some problems with your music audio, like it did on Shellshock Live, I mean, ugh, that was just, that was something. But anyway, we have this. Okay, what's, what's my control set up here? <laughs> uh... Okay, general, we have all of that. Keyboard, mouse, uh, movement, WASD. Our primary action is mouse. Run is left shift. I actually want to... Oh. Yeah, I want to change to that, because I'm, I'm never going to be copying blocks, really, right? Uh, scope, zoom out, mouse wheel. Hmm. Reload is R... Light source is F. Drop tool belt item is G. But I'm gonna I'm going to switch this to what I usually use for Minecraft, which is Y for Yeet, because you know I'm letting go of that with reckless abandon and have no no qualms about just chucking that thing anywhere. Um, let's see here. Secondary action. Yep. Jump is space. Crouch is left control. Uh, I actually want that to be left shift. That That's what I usually use for that. Scope, zoom out, mouse wheel. That You know what? That works for me. Zoom in is mouse wheel. Oh, uh, well. Hmm. I think we can do... I think we can do that. Uh, tool belt. Obviously the numbers. And that... Oh, that's... Mouse wheel. Oh, I don't want mouse wheel plus actually. I want Z for zoom. And then zoom out is. Oh. Okay, I have both those as Z. I hope that doesn't break anything. If it does, it's fine. Right? Uh, vehicles. Oh, honk horn. <laughs> That's gonna yes the X button okay good to know I I need to remember that one uh, menus tap for inventory M for map O for quests actually let's go Q for quests yeah we don't need we don't need God mode in this game come on we're playing in survival for goodness sake uh, anyway and then let's go ahead and apply those. Okay, I can't seem to read this note for whatever reason. Okay, just a friendly reminder that you pay on time, every time, or there will be consequences. Next time, we won't be so nice. Thanks for the gear, but you still owe us. See you soon, the Duke. Still don't know what... Don't know what that means. So we need to open the challenges window. Uh, let's see here. Here's our challenge window. Oh, hey, redeem it. Hey, nice. Okay. Go and punch grass. Is that, any, is that anywhere close to touch grass? I feel like it is. I, I feel like that's just that rude category. Touch grass. I need to get me some wood. Some plant fibers. Oh, hey, welcome to Skeeter's Place. Look at the koi pond out back. Oh, uh, probably why they call it Skeeter's Place. A lot of mosquitoes around here. Or as I lovingly refer to them as, Misinos. You never see them coming, then you just hear... But at that point, the little vampire... Those little vampiric bugs are just all over me, and they already have my blood. Okay. Uh, how do I... How do I quickly move things? That... Oh, W is equip. Okay, that's weird. Is that usually how that works? That's that. Uh, keyboard, mouse, tool belt. 
Okay, slots, uh, option, movement, tool belt, vehicle menus, UI, miscellaneous. I don't think we're going to need any of the miscellaneous ones. Uh, let's see here. Movement, is it options, weapon aiming, hold. Okay, uh, invert, no, sprint lock, uh, no. I don't want to do a sprint lock, that's very dangerous. Sorry, just give me a moment here. Actually, I'll probably come to regret what I just did there. Uh, action hotkey three. You know what? Let's just back it, back that up. It's it's okay. Okay, harvest wood from trees. All right, need some small stones now. Hmm. Hey, here we go. Oh, and there's a town right over there. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Challenges. We've completed that, 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 and we're on this one. Okay. Let's see. Craft primitive outfit. Okay, and a wooden club, we can do that. Oh no, I didn't want to craft another one. No! Uh, okay, this is getting ridiculous. How... Can I not just... Oh, I can drag them. Okay, I just had to ho had to hold it down. Oh, dumb me. There we go. Oh, we need to gather feathers. Okay, which birds... Did any birds le just leave their nests out and about here? I'm really, really in need of some feathers. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go. Yes, yes. Oh, and eggs? Oh, Thank you. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, and we'll just keep that down there and lock it in. <sighs> Alright, we'll lock it in place. Open the challenge window again. Alright. Redeem, 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 and redeem, and redeem. Nice. Okay. Traitors that way, too. White River Citizen. Good job, Survivor. You've proved to be capable with much more potential. We have marked your map at the nearest White River Outpost location. There we'll find a trader where you can buy and sell goods and trade stories with one of our friendly citizens. Welcome aboard, Noah. You know... This Noah guy probably doesn't sound anything like that, but it's all right. What the heck? I don't know why he keeps putting that symbol... Gotcha. Well, that was my one arrow, and... Uh, 
Okay, R is the button I need for reload or... Or to uh, take it off of that as the selected. You know, to unknock an arrow. Good to know! Good to know. Little minivan action. Okay, oh! Oh, an engine! Wow, okay. And some corn seeds, good for farming later. Wow, just finding one of those in the wild? You kidding me? An engine already in this economy? In this tanked economy? Look at this place. It's a mess. It's a mess. Uh, ooh, goldenrod. Oh, did I... Whoops. Okay. Right, I can take all if I want to. Yeah, sure. At this point, let's do it. We're gonna have to... Establish a location for ourselves. But for now... For now, this is good. Foul T rash. Perfect. How much inventory space do I have? Okay. I have quite a bit, which is good. Oh, I think a I think a zombie on the inside hurt us. <laughs> Ooh. You don't hear me. You don't see me. Oh gosh! Lady heard me. Get out of here. Get out of here, lady. <sighs> Alright. Alright. It's going well. The Brett Residence. Three skulls. How would you rate this place? Three skulls out of... Well, wait, what is the skull ranking in this game? Does it just go to five, or is it more than five? I feel like it's more. I don't... I don't quite remember. Oh, how many bird's nests are we passing by? Which, speaking of which, they've actually made bird's nests, I think, harder to find in this game. Oh. Like, there are fewer of them. No, oh, and I, I will let you guys know as well on this. So, we're playing this with 300% XP. Just there's a little bit faster leveling up. A little more progression. Yikes. I may have to adjust some of the volume settings. These guys seem a little loud. Although, all the better to spook, to spook me by, right? <laughs> wow, 2,250 XP. Tanky. Hey, monies. Nice. And a book? And a book. Primitive Armor Quality 2. Challenge. Read a magazine complete. Awesome. Oh, feathers. Heck yeah. Oh, I need more wood. I need more wood. Urban Combat Volume 1. I didn't even stop to see what that was, to be honest. What it, To see what it said. Missed it. I feel like I missed. Didn't that time. 
All right, we get a whole bunch of skill points to start out with. All right, so first off, I want Lucky Looter, Treasure Hunter. Let's go for, let's see, uh, Clubs deal some more, that's nice. Uh, minor 69er is good. And you know what? Let's go the Daring Adventure. Let's start out with that. Get some better rewards for things. Nice, nice. Oh, hey, Stone Axe. I will take that. Oh, not. Okay. Perfect. Hey, this will give wood, right? Granted, that tree is probably... Ow! Oh, gosh. Never run underneath a... Uh, Breaking structure. Okay. That was bad. That hurts. Look, if it's not the zombies that'll do me in in this game, it's my own hubris. Let's be honest here. I'm my own biggest enemy in this game. See you, chump. Oh, hey. A challenge complete. Wow, okay. Okay, okay. Moving, our, moving up in this world. Oh, and there's a tent over there. Might have to check that out in a little bit. Ew. Trader wrecked. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'd shake your hand, but I bet you got dysentery. The way you smell. Got any special jobs? Oh, lockhead! I'll give you some work. But Intro: you know Buried supplies. Let's start you off with something a little easier. Go dig up the supplies nearby that one of my associates left for me. Don't forget, you're going to need a shovel. Don't just stand there with your thumb up your ass. Yeah, this guy the is the rudest of the guy. traders. And of course, he's the first one we have to start with, right? Does he have anything good here? Uh, Armor pocket mod. Oh, gather. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's a mod, right? Yeah. Crucible for 15,000. You don't buy something next time, I'll shoot you. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is a joke, right? I should never have left that open. Oop, missed it. Here, take that. Take that one in the dome, my guy. Oh, 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 you seem a little more angry at me. Hee <laughs> Got him. Took long enough. Okay. So we have Buried Supplies mission, right? Let's toggle that. That away! <sighs> Missed it. Come on. There we go. That's it. That went over well. That was a hit. <laughs> yeah. Boom. 
get spookied. I'm still working on a catchphrase, okay? That don't don't go with me on that one. That was get spooky of all of the things I could have said. Oh boy, another one of those big ones over there. What if he'll let me dig here without repercussions? He might. He might. Chicken. Oh, closer. Okay. Maybe this way? No. Oh. 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 Uh. Wow, it tells me where it's at already? That's, uh, pretty sweet. Yeah, lady, I don't need you interrupting me on this, okay? Already encumbered? What happened? Huh. Wow, okay. Uh, that's fun. Probably need to go sell some things then. So easy to get encumbered in this game. Oh, the sneak attack bonus is fantastic. Oh, I have two skill points to spend? Ooh. That is... That's the pause menu, not... Oh, gosh. Goodness me. Okay, well... <sighs> Agility is archery, so Hidden Strike's definitely a good one. From the Shadows is good, so we can sneak a little bit better. We'll definitely want those archery skills. Know that. Huh, more rotten flesh. Just what I needed. Something to stink up my pockets. I've heard of, uh... heard of, uh... Pocket snacks or pocket sand, but... Ugh. Oh, look at that. An old sham sandwich. What a sham. What a sham. Okay. Now... In these places as well, I think they have vehicles and workstations that I can check as well. Wouldn't it be funny if I could sell this guy his own stuff? Nice, nice. Destroyed forge. Okay. Forge ahead. We have some coal, some nails. Destroyed workbench. Some brass. Okay, there should be a chemistry station around here somewhere. I think it's over there. I, I think I see it. Ooh, motor tool parts. I'm not going to need those right now, and I think... I think we can get pretty lucky with what we find, so... Hold off on that for now. Cotton. You know, I was taking most everything, but... <laughs> Do I need cotton, really? In this economy? Oh, cement mixer. Is it? It's destroyed. Okay. Hey, there we go. Cobblestone rocks come in handy later. I swear. Okay. Oh, we're moving so slow now. Oh. Meaty. What if we can find any good clothing in here, by the way? These little outbuildings. Oh, and food? Food? Oh, 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Grilled corn and baked potato. That's awesome. Now we can actually, uh... <laughs> well, now we can actually make the simplest of foods in this wasteland. Every grade. Here you go. Oh, okay, so I get to choose. Place. I'm gonna go pipe rifle bundle, just because, you know, he makes me take a bundle. Uh, yeah. Clears, clear zombles, 364 me, meters. That's the way to go. May I see your inventory? Yeah, I have a few things to sell you. Because I feel like I can get... I can get some more items in the future, right? I can get more of these items, and it's good to be building up some of this cash. A sale is a sale, even if it is to a scumbag like you. Okay, scrap that. And then... Open that. Oh. I don't know how much we're actually going to use the pipe rifle, but at very least, it's something ballistic that we have at our disposal. Yep, hungry, thirsty. Yep. Some get the soup out here just in case we need it okay we're clear going to go clear the area need to head to that rally point what do we got here we got anything good here game where do you want me to go what do you want me to clear out uh oh biker zombie eh hi he's gonna be tanky I don't get sneak attack damage on him cuz he saw me Rats! Wow, four arrows right to the dome, and he is still up. This guy. Menace to society. Or what's left of it. Okay, nobody saw that. No one saw that. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. I, yeah. I did boost the loot, I think, up to like 125, 150%, but that's it. I didn't go nuts with it, just for it being a single player game, I figured if, like I said, if we can get some of that progression going on this, we can get some of the fun crafting items go, and then can do a whole lot more, a little more versatile. Ew. Just ew. I could hear that behind me. What is this, a uh, ranger station or something? Yep, Ranger Station Delta. Dang it. Birds, really? 
Ugh, birds in this game are bleh. I do not enjoy the birds. Alright, we have point here. I mean, we've been using a lot of sticks here. Let's go... Let's go Pummel Pete. That'll... Hopefully help us out a little bit. Oop. Why do I keep hitting the escape button? Get out of there, escape button. You don't need to be over on that side of my... On that side of my, uh, keyboard. See ya, chump. Okay. So I see a little walkway up there. How are we meant to get up? Oh. Ah, oh, so close, so close. Is that the only way we can get up or oh oh wait 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 nope not that way I mean this is obviously broken oh yes this way understood because there's always they always give you some sort of path in these points of interest these POIs on how to get up. He done. Oh! Oh no! No! I fell in! I fell in! No! No! Oh gosh. Oh. There's always something, isn't there? Hey, a medical medical bandages. I needed those. Oh, Molotovs? In this economy? Wow, okay. And another news infection. Ooh, some steroids, foul tea rash. Uh, I need to get back up there though. There's some there's some good books up there. Do we have Oh man, took a licking there. Uh hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, we don't have anything to get rid of infection. That's fun. That's not gonna be worrying at all. <sighs> okay. I should have known I should have known something like that was going to happen. Right. The books were too good to be true. They were just calling out to me. Art of Mining 1 adds a small chance to mine rare gems from ore. Oh, that's an awesome find. Oh, and we get this wood crate. Right, right. Oh, Lucky Looter 3. Find more brass and loot. Nice. Armor... S s armor parts, okay. We have some iron arrows and some cat food. Lovely. Hey, trader, I don't mean to bother you, but do you have anything for someone who's mildly turning a little green and pale and really has a craving for organs and brains? Got nothing for that? Then why am I even talking to you? Oh, wait a minute. Is that an arm or a leg? Oh. I've got a sprained leg, you kidding me? Oh, gosh. I mean, in heck, I don't even have a place to uh, stay in-game at the moment. Do we have a splint on us? 
We do not. That's rough. Okay. I'm sorry, game. I really have to exacerbate this. Yeah, and I'm... Need to, I need to heal up a little bit. Like that. That took a lot. You know, the trader's kind of out here in a quiet, secluded place. I mean, the town's over there, so... Uh, we need to establish a place of residence somewhere. I... Don't know where we're going to do that at. I mean, I don't necessarily want to be in the big city, if that makes sense. I want to be kind of out somewhere where we won't get swamped and swarmed by the undead. Also, I don't... I don't think the game... Instructed me to make a land claim block. That might just be something I need to make on my own. It's stones, right? Something Corey. like that. Congratulations! Here's your reward, sucker. Buried supplies. Uh, sure. Oh, why not? Can't say I'm not surprised. Hey, uh, <laughs> by the way, your inventory. Decide already. Mmm, nah, Moltops would be fun to use. I don't, I don't overly want to sell those. Let's see, medical, oh, we, oh, antibiotics are so expensive. <sighs> well, we have a chance of getting honey from... Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. From stumps. I can't use a splint at this time. Okay, game. You just want me to uh, walk out of here, like, just limp out of here? Is that what you want from me? Fine. Fine, game. Fine. Have it your way. Nah, I'm running on this thing. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? UFO museum? Wait. That's actually funny. Oh, and they have some farm fields out front? Oh. You know. Eh. Nah, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I need to find a place to live and stay, but I don't know if that's it. I don't... I don't know if that's a good place to be. I missed? How did I miss that? See ya, chump. Now, another another question. Does anybody have any mailboxes around here? I want some more books. I like to read. I mean, my name is the Nerdy Librarian, after all. Always fun to do a little reading. At least for me. Not for everybody. 
Ooh, this is a nice place. The garage leaves something to be desired, but... Uh, paper, you cheapskates. <sighs> eh. I need to start deciding whether I can actually take things or not. And right now, I'm going, yeah, maybe not. And we're getting close to nighttime here. Little concerning. I mean, ideally, I'd like a place that's close to the trader, if at all possible, but recognize that, that might not be viable. Sad as it is to say that. Oh, potatoes. I can cook those. Oh, military checkpoint? Well. Oh, lock picks. Oh, beautiful. NDC checkpoint one. Four skulls. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, where, where'd this guy go? Gotcha. <sighs> this doesn't seem like the ideal place to end up at. I'm just going to say it. Oh, he's still going icky. Ick. See you, lady. Oh, no. That's just nasty. Okay. I will take those. Yikers. Oh, wait, there was a bag back in the... <sighs> Spooky! Oh, ew, ew, ew. Nasty, gross, vile. I'm just concerned about what happens when we find why this place is four skulls, right?
Gotcha, chump. Okay, we have eight arrows total. That's only going to get us so far. Come on. Oh, nine arrows. Correction. Ooh, what happened to you, mate? Ooh, wait, no, you're... Nope, you're actually, uh, shambler. Okay. It's what I needed to know. Oh, no, you're just done for. Okay. Less than an hour until... Till it's, uh... Bad times. And heck, we still have a lot of this place to go. <laughs> Holy crap! Sham chowder? Ooh! That's good! That's so good! Oh, that's so nice. Eat. I really need to figure out what quick move is. Uh, aside from the options in that box menu. that a guy? It was. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, come on. Boom! See ya. Ooh, look at all that aloe vera. Handy land, that's nice. Oh, nighttime, and we're in tents. Less than ideal. I mean, in heck, we don't even have a quest here, so enemies aren't even marked on the map. This is insane. Why did I go in here again? What? Did I see medical supplies or medical tents and think, oh! What could possibly go wrong? Yes. Yes. My idiotic self. That's what you thought. That's what you saw. That's what you said. Oh, man. Oh, there's obviously going to be someone in there. And you know what? Everything can sprint now that it's nighttime. Everything. Do you think it saw or heard me?
Okay, there's still another one over there. I can see it. Now nah, I'm I'm holding on to that sham chowder. That's that's non-negotiable. I am I'm holding on to that. That's that's a very good item. I don't want to use it unless I have to. Ugh, no, not the old sham sandwich. You know what? Let's just go with uh, cat food. Open door. I don't like this. <laughs> I do not like this. This is... I should probably mention, you know, I'm not a big fan of scary movies or scary things. Really? Ah. Uh, this is fine. <gasps> Yikes! Get me out of there! Oh! Oh, that was a jump scare and a half. Oh, no, no! Not from behind! No! Huge jerk. Ah, oh, concussion. Well, at least I'm inside place now. Oh, leg's broken. I know just how to use this. <sighs> Let's see. What do we use for concussion? And why did I just hit that? Uh, Let's see here. Concussion. Use painkillers to cure this. We have none of those. Okay. Housekeeping? Housekeeping? I coming anyway? I coming anyway. Bog water. Okay, cornmeal. Whatever, whatever. Can I make more arrows? Yes, I can. Thank goodness. And yes, we do have to head back outside. <laughs> well, this is only mildly disturbing. Rocket launcher parts? Whoo wee! Okay. I mean, game, if you're willing to trust me with those, I. I mean, I don't know what to say. That's just. Thanks, I think. Must be the loot room in there. <sighs> Heard something. But I don't know from where. Oh, this, oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Oh, no, 
no, no. Abrasion, no. Run! Run away! I wasn't ready for this. No! Uh oh, that's part four. That's bad. Run away, me! No, you have to reload. No! <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Okay, I'm shutting the window to the office. Where I'm sitting right now, I cannot see what I'm working with. That was... Why'd you respawn me here, game? Why would you do that? No, no, military zombies, no, just no. Why would you do this game? Oh boy. This is it, guys. It's happened again. See ya. Oh no. Yikes. Keel over, my guy. Oh. Why does it keep spawning me there? Oh, because I don't have bedroll yet. Why did the game not have me make a bedroll yet? Oh, hey, thanks, game. This is actually right where I wanted to be. That's awesome. You know, sometimes you just have to bite the the big one a couple times in game for the game to finally understand what your intentions were. AKA, I want to be up here, not down there. Oh, and another thing. Four skulls. I probably should have just avoided this place. Good news is, we're no longer infected, right? I mean, there's always a silver lining. Always the silver lining to something like this. See ya. Okay, how many of them are down there? Well, he's not running yet. Boom! Let's see here. Oh gosh, I have to reload. Yeah, it's definitely the loot room. Maybe I should have come through this door because I can see... Oh, that's bad. No, not caps lock. Not caps lock. Deep laceration against a military zombie? No! Two military zombies? No! Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, how we have three deaths in game so far. Are we going to get a fourth and have this place be the number of skulls that we have? AKA four what if four skull what if four skulls really means the number of deaths in game you're more likely to have at a location like this? I should not have come here early. <laughs> oh gosh. This was a fool's errand. A fool's errand. And I've been a fool I've been the fool. I'm the fool. Okay, okay. Oh, and we have our deer. Okay. Well, well, that wasn't worth it. 
Bow Hunters? Oh. Yes. Primitive Bow Quality 2. Oh, Urban Combat 2. Armor doesn't slow you down when in combat. Oh, that's awesome. And a level up? Oh, yes. Okay. Um... Hmm, this one's been rough already. We definitely want to be able to loot a little bit more. I think perception's going to be a good way to go here. Oh, Pistol Pete Volume 3. You were more accurate when f rapid firing 9mm weapons. Take those. A bone. Kanifi. Knife. The knife. Okay. Yeah, this was the loot room. No, not another one. Wow. Did that without him hitting me. Okay. That's good. Uh, do we need... Do we have... Yeah. Yeah, we have room for bandages. Okay. Hardened chest locked. I have some lock picks, but not enough. Savage Country, I think, is... Is that apparel? Is that tools? Apparel. Primitive armor quality 3. Nobody cares about that. Let's keep going. Gun store box. What have we got here? Got anything good here? Magnum Enforcer Volume 6. You can craft high power 44 Magnum ammo. Use Tempered Blade Mod. Increases block damage by 10% and lowers degradation by 15%. Okay, I can... Yeah, let's... Let's put that on this, okay? Ammo pile. Bullet tips, shells, 9mm ammo. Let's get rid of the bones. We are... We are full capacity here. How bad is this going to be? <laughs> I'm not beating my way in. Please let me lock this. Please let me unlock this. Please. Please, game. I would really like what's in this box. It would be very nice if you did that. Please let this go through. Come on. Come on. You can... No! I only have one more. You can do this. You can do this, game. Come on. Let me... Well, poop. <sighs> what is th what is that? Okay, good. Whew, they're not waking up. I've had to deal with enough of you guys already. Oh, and a, a wheel. Yay. Yeah, and that's gonna be locked. Okay. Well. Oh, why'd I hit the pause button again? Why do I keep doing that? It's tab. It's tab, me. You've played Elder Scrolls Oblivion. You know how it goes. It's tab button for inventory in almost every game, and yet you insist upon hitting escape. Okay, come here. Shamble over to me. Right this way. See ya! Oh no, is this one under the roadway? No! Why do you do this game? Why do you do this to me? Well, it's almost daytime at very least, so we are... We are getting there. To where we want to be. Huh. <sighs> Oh, oh, right, but it switches it switches the terrain. I forgot about that. That is something else they... 
I thought I heard something. Anyway, that is something else they introduced in the new update. Or, yeah. In when they did the full release. So when you're doing a quest now, and especially buried supplies, if it spawns it underneath a roadway, it'll change the roadway from being the pavement over top to actually being something beneficial. You know, something you can actually dig and not yell at your computer screen with. Oh, yay, it's daytime. Finally! Also, I guarantee this, 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 these spirit supplies are going to be in the last place I dig. That's usually how it goes. Let me know in the comments section if anybody has had a different experience with that. Like, have you ever found the supplies just right away? Because it says nearby, but are they ever really truly nearby? Doubtful. Doubt. Hey, if this was L.A. Noir, I would be spamming that X button right now. Doubt. Spam it. Wait. Oh. Well, how about that? You know what? We we don't we don't need this anymore. Right, spawns mini horde. That's right. Excuse me, why did I burp? That's just, that's rude, me. That's rude, you don't do that in the mic. But it happens sometimes, you have to burp. Well, it's a normal bodily function. I will give you that, me. <sighs> you can get away with it for now, just don't make a habit of it. It's like you're already turning zombie or something. Oh hey, food! We have food items. Oh, oh, and a stump. A little honey for later, perhaps. No. <laughs> ah, wishful thinking, me. You're right, me. It was wishful thinking, but it was good wishful thinking. Thanks for looking out for me. You're welcome, me. What the heck was that bit? Hello, place of my demise three separate times. How are you today? I'm back, and I'm not stopping this time. Snake? Snake? Snake! Oh, you do get meat from them. Hey, that's nice. Oh. Do I have potato seed already? I do not. Uh, yeah, let's. Yeah. Now, question is when I hand. When I hand wrecked the supplies, am I going to have inventory space? That... Excuse me? Something I can help you with?
Nobody likes nobody likes uh Nobody likes that. Three skill points to sp since when? When did that happen? Okay, lucky looter. Uh, Iron Gut is a very good one. And, you know what? Let's put another level into strength. Oh, yay. Okay, we're out of arrows. That... You know, that sounded like an optimistic yay. That was more sarcastic. Uh, yikes. Yikes, me. Why are you out of arrows all the time? Why are you always... Oh, hey, I got the achievement. A thousand kilometers traveled in this game. Good job, me. Tells me how much I've played this. I was hoping that achievement was going to pop soon. And it did. You know, I may... I may end up going through this UFO museum after I drop this stuff off. I mean, if... This might be a good place to set up a land claim. It has farms already. I can... dig stuff out, and... if I get high enough farming skill, or get buy some farm plots, I can put them in there, get some good sources of food going, you know, things like that. It's always a good place to start the ag business. The ag industry. You know, if a zombie apocalypse did happen and society began to spring back again, the fir one of the first things we'd want to figure out is good food source. Good food sourcing, right? I mean, we struggle with that now, sometimes. Around the world. Imagine after zombies take over. Or something like that. We need good, yeah. good, good food. Look here, boys. We got ourselves a real Bacon and eggs, hero. handgun magazine. And I could... To be oh, I would need pistol parts for that. Uh, we already have some pistol ammo. Yeah. So, I can't take a hundred. Scrapping for fun. I'm going to take the handgun magazine. Oh, I need to clear up infant. Of course I do. Okay. Do you have any jobs? <sighs> Buried supply. Fine. To it's, it I does. mean, they're close. Why, time, baby, why do you have to be such a jerk with the jobs? You give? Oh, I'm not selling that. I'm not selling that. Oh, hey, cash money? Yeah, here, you take that. Take it and like it. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have here? Do you want murky water? You do not. Uh, I still have those Molotovs in my person. Bitch. That's all you're gonna buy? Pipe pistol quality too. Oh, right. I can only make pipe items. That's that's right. Uh, wooden club. Still can only do one. Knuckle wraps. I don't want knuckle wraps. Tools. Food. Can make a campfire. Science can make that stuff. I could get could get could get others in the primitive set. That would be good. And actually doesn't he Oh, I don't need another job. But you have an armor Pokemon for twelve hundred? Oh you. You son of a bitch. Trying to rip me off wrecked? Again? You gonna do that to me? Okay, well. What, okay, what does it take to make a land claim block? Or, you know what? Wood storage crate. I mean, if I'm going through... If I'm going to be going through that UFO place... A nice uh, storage crate outside would, would be good. Oh, I need arrows, though. Look, I don't know about you, but I I really I mean, I don't know how you guys play this game. What what your play style is? For me, 
You know me. If you've watched my channel. At all. I like the stealth. I like to go bows if I can. Or sniper rifles. You, you know, crouch down pretty far back and just let loose. This is no different. Oh, place storage container was a Oh, I mean I have iron arrows. You know what? Let's let's use the iron arrows. Wait, I need the stones. I Probably need those. Bandages, I'm going to keep those on me for now. Oh, gosh dang it, me. Why did you do that? Okay, you need those. Um, and then, where's the pistol ammo? Some shotgun shells. Okay, I have bullet tips. Where'd my pistol ammo end up at? Oh, there it is. It's up there. 9 mil, in case we find something that can use that, right? And then... Re oh, the... You know what? The iron arrows ended up in here, didn't they? Yes, they did. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. Full movement again. It's wonderful. <laughs> Big hitters. Improves club crafting. Wooden club quality too? Yes, please. Wait. Oh, gosh. Did I... I thought I picked that up again. Did I not? Ah, uh, there it is. Gosh dang it, me. Ah, uh, shift-click. Shift-click gets it to my inventory bar. Should have known better, but... I should have known that one. Cash registers open. There are some apparel items. That might be... Okay, door there. That's... Uh... <sighs> Military clothes rack. Nothing. Okay. Guess I'm not high enough level to actually find something. Good to know, game. Bookshelf. Medical journal. Okay. It's always nice to find some books. Oh, water cooler. If I could get some more clean water, that'd be fantastic. Nope, it's uh, more bog water. Bow hunters. Improves bow crafting skill again. Primitive bow quality three. What's that take? I need plant fibers for that. Okay. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, I didn't. Why are you firing? Don't fire. No. That's not what I want to do. Hold up. Wait a minute. What in the actual I no, that's that's not okay what happened to that guy. Oh 
Really? There's a safe in this place? Well, actually, if I'm going to be setting up a land claim block here, I can always go back for that later. Uh, welcome to the UFO Museum Cafe. May I take your order? I'd like some brains, brains, and more brains. Uh, let me check in the back. But secretly, I gotta run away with that one. That's yikes. A uh, crossbow? Oh, and Ranger's Guide Archery Volume 1. Safely remove 20% more arrows and bolts from your target. Oh my gosh. Oh, but I don't have any bolts, do I? Oh. So it's only down there for pure aesthetics? Well, if that's the case, then I'm just going to move you back up there. What are its stats, though? 49.4 versus... Oh, it's so much better. And yet we can't use it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Hey, potatoes. That's horrific. A single skill point? I will use that wisely. I can't get that. Better barter might be nice. Uh, or lock picking. But I don't have any lock picks on me. Or, or, or. Ah, we still don't have enough for that. Oh! Uh, oh, what do I want? What do I want? Now, nah, ar archery is very good, though. Let's continue to pump some into agility. I think this is where it wants me to go, okay. I understand game. Magnum and Force Volume 7. Sprinting with 44 gun drawn in combat uses 20% less stamina. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I mean, I don't have a 44, and I don't think I'm going to have one for a while, but that's decent vine. Produce basket. That wasn't produce. Hey, aloe vera. That's... Okay. I don't even want to know, guys. Get out of there. Hey, your food supply. Cat food? Okay. Whatever. Okay, so what's it take to make a land claim block? Uh, small stones. Good to know. 
I'll keep that in my inventory for now until I have better indication. Probably need an easier way to get around this place. I mean, the... Ho ho ho! This is fun! Ow! That's not good. That's really not good. Lumberjack zombie, huh? Ow, just go down already, dude. That's just disgusting. Ow! Oh. Only mildly sucked, but we're okay. Oh. Lucky Looter, Volume 7. Find more medical supplies and loot. Oh, yes. Armor Pocket Mod. Oh, yes. Commando Boots. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm going to crack a book crate. Heck, yeah. More arrows. Heck, yeah. Two crack a book crates. Oh. Look, guys. If this isn't screaming the place that I need to put a land claim block, then I don't know what is. You present a guy with the YouTube name, the Nerdy Librarian, who really likes to read and write and just everything that has to do with just all of that. You put two of those boxes in here. My goodness, guys. Oh, it's glorious. And a UFO. I mean, it's got sci-fi, too. Plus, I have an easy way to get in here. I have easy access. And then I can... I can close these. Oh, that's so nice, guys. This we're we're making this place ours. Okay. I'm just gonna say it. We're we're making it ours. Let's put the land claim block somewhere that's kind of easy to defend, and you know somewhere we're not gonna have to mess with it too much. This place is ours. It's ours, guys. We have a we have a home in game. We have a place now. Oh. Hold up. Wait. Mm, nope, nope. I need to move it. I need to move the block. That's not that's not going to work. It's so dramatic when you destroy it. <laughs> I, I, I enjoy that. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, I have to remake one. Okay. that Fine game. Fine. If you insist.
Let's put it there. And then... Show bounce. I think we're good with that. Let me take a look here. Need to do a little inspection. Oh, this is a big place. Oh, man. Uh, hmm. I was hoping we were going to have room to fit the entire place as ours. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. I got... We're going to have to keep moving. What about the house across the street over there? By the bridge? It's somewhat close to the trader. It's a little bit secluded, not too much. We can work with it. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's do that. And you know what? We're still close to the museum. Um... Once again, though, this place is kind of big. I need something smaller. I need a smaller place to call home. Last two, uh, clean and maintain. Oh, a hunting knife? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh... Old radio station, probably a three skull locale. Yeah, K KZL radio. Ear of corn. Heck yeah. Well, that's what's left of the receptionist. Ew, ew, ew. Old sham sandwich over here. See ya. Okay, uh, and actually, now that I think about it, we have a few of these to complete. Yep, boom, 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 boom. And boom. Wow, look at all that XP we just earned. And then there is a second page, but we don't have any of those yet. Oh, Handyland? Yes. Excuse me. Ow. Okay, uh... Explosive magazine. Primitive armor quality 5 unlocked. That's... works for me. See ya. Gosh. I'm so jumpy right now. Cornbread and goldenrod tea. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, the game has me so on edge right now. Hey, you guys can path to me. <laughs> okay, totem pole. Totem pole maneuver. Works for me. I can get you from here. Boom. Two skill points to spend right there. That's what we have. Okay. Another hidden strike. More sneak attack damage. It's just perfect. <laughs> yep, you didn't digest the corn, and there it is. <laughs> That's, yeah. 
That's what happens. Natural consequences. It goes right through you. Oh, right. We have this. Okay. What do... What are we wearing? Technically, it can use it. Good enough for me. I'm not falling for that. But those prices aren't worth it. Good to know that that's there, though. Just don't try to hit it. I repeat, do not try to hit a vending machine in this game. It's not going to end well. I should know. I, I found that out once. It wasn't great. I'm not going to say what it is, just for any of you who are curious enough and would like to do that just for a bit, go... I, I'm not going to stop you. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not stopping you, but nor am I... Nor am I encouraging it. Put it that way. You know what I don't get? Concussions. Ew. That's that's gross. Oh no. Birds. Old solar panels that don't work anymore. All of that. Jazz. I feel like it wants us to go this way. Yeah, it does. Okay. Coffee grounds. Thing here I need to know about. Nope, just a bunch of missing persons folder reports. Uh... There we go. Oh, Furious Fists. Probably not going to use that too much, but it's always good to get that. Wow, it suddenly got dark in here. What the heck? They're going to fall from the ceiling, aren't they? No? Yes. This place has me so jumpy right now. Oh, how did that miss you? Oh, and it is raining in game. I wondered why it was getting so dark. That really makes way too much sense. Why can I see the raindrops in here? Oh, boy. Do I really have to drop down there? Do I have to, game? I don't... I don't want to. Why... Ow. 
so dark down here. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, 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 what is that a recording booth? Must be. Must be a recording booth. Oh no, it's not. It's just a cabinet. Wow. The things you don't see when it's so dark. I'm hungry again. No. Okay, well, have to use that. It's going to lower my health. But I didn't get dysentery. That. Okay. Whew. <sighs> This is terrifying, guys. Hey! Wow, okay, that was... That was uh, a challenge? Pl place a torch? Easy. Out of stamina, okay. No, why am I in the cabinet? Why am I always in the cabinet? Hey, we got him. Oh. Got some stones. Weapons bag. Oh, Iron Breaker mod. 15% more damage against iron. That's nice. Handgun magazine. Pipe pistol quality. Three rifle parts. Oh, I'm hanging on to those. I like rifle parts. Working stiff tools box. Tools digest. Stone tools quality two. Cobblestone rocks. Lock pick. That's nice. Ooh, that's very nice. <laughs> Off-road headlights. Vehicle magazine and some more gas. Gas, gas, gas. I'm gonna step on the gas. You know, I could probably set zombies on fire with this. Ow, ow. Had me stuck. This, this, I'm not getting the home feel from this place. I'm really not. I... Let's keep looking. Rogue outfit? Can I repair that? No, I need a repair kit. But, sneak effectiveness is a little bit more. In spite of the durability being a problem. Honestly? Wait. Oh, uh, modify... Armor pocket mod. Modify that. Boom. Complete. Sneak. Okay, sneak effectiveness is that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to let me repair it yet. Frankly, I don't know if it's worth repairing since it's tier 1. But... Ow! What in... Oh, we had a runner. We had a runner. Wow, another ear of corn? What, you guys hoarding it or something around here? Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh, man. Okay. He... Yikes. Oh, you took... Oh, look at that arrow. Oh, right. There is a camp out here. What have we got here? We got anything good here? Oh look, it's stuck. Oh no, it was stuck. It was stuck. But it's not anymore. Oh gosh. Murky water, come on, man. Gonna have to do better than that. Really running low on supplies here. Okay, yeah, I did leave them in a crate back there. I know, I know. I left a whole bunch of things, and one of them was that sham chatter, which was going to be both food and water, but... I mean... I mean, can you blame me, though? I was getting over-encumbered. Yay, rotting flesh. I don't need that. Oh, vehicle adventures. Tier 1 bicycle and wheels. Oh. Heck yeah. I can potentially make a bike. Oh. Yes. What do we need for that? Okay, we need we need a work table though. A workstation. Uh, yep, let's use one of those. And then, right, we have an Iron Breaker mod as well, so... Nah. See ya, chump. Oh, look, an old sham sandwich. Do I risk it? I risk it. Yeah, I, I lose health, but I get food. At the moment, that's a necessary trade off. Oh boy, it's getting close to end of day two. I I really don't want any more nighttime shenanigans yet. I don't. I need a home in game. I need some place where I can just set up a land clean block, cover the entire property, and I can go. I'm good with this. Oh, out of nowhere. He came out of left field. Oh, great, I'm thirsty too. Oh, joy. Yeah, I got nothing for this. That's fun. Am I getting closer, game? 
Hello? Yes, I am, but not by much. Good to know. Good to know, game. Thanks for that. They have a challenge for gather clay? Three thousand XP. Okay. I'm not complaining. You're not gonna see me complaining about that. I will take that XP and run with it. Any other locals I need to worry about? Eh, not right now. Okay. Good to know. Got a good feeling about this direction. Ooh, have to watch these overhangs, though. So close to a level up. Come on. Okay, I know it's going to spawn zombies when I go into that. I have two points available here. Fortitude. Okay, that might have been a risky play, but... I hit the pause button again, really? Okay. At least we have food items on us now. Yeah, take that one home with you. Oh yeah, and another another thing that they changed with the update is you no longer get cans from the food. You don't get cans back once you've eaten it. Which is kind of frustrating, but also makes sense at the same time. They don't want to make it too easy. Then again, I thought it was kind of nice when you got the cans, just... I mean... Uh, more realistic that way because it's not like you're just going to blitz through uh, a can of something and then go oh I've you know there's it just disappeared no you probably have to do something with that although if you're looking for a recycling bin you're looking in the wrong place this is the zombie apocalypse we're talking about dude this is this is not the age of good clean waste or recycling sadly That is not how it works. Spoil tea rash. Aw, oh, springs. Absolutely. What have we got here? We got anything good here in your truck? Okay, scrap palmers. I will take those. Ah, oh, man, it's a long way to the trader. I need a bike. Oh, you, you know what, guys? The next thing I need to upgrade here, advanced engineering. I I, th I think that's what I need to go for next. That I could be wrong. 
W what I know is this. I need a workstation. That That's priority number one. Getting a workstation will allow me to make a bike. And a bike will mean we can scoot around faster without using too much food and water. Or less than we are now. We can do potentially more quests, get more XP, level up more, and be ballin'. No. What are stats looking like right now? Uh, 108 enemy KOs, 3 deaths in game. We're level 14. Okay. Oh no. No, I can I can see the UFO museum from there and the traders on the other side, but it's almost 2200. No, we're not going to be able to get in tonight. And stay down. Yeah, okay, I like that uh, right, right mouse button is zoom in that that works really well for me to be honest that's very easy to pull off and then having the then having the 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 mouse wheel as sprint that's what I I use that in other games and that that's very beneficial it's it's so easy to use okay you know what? I didn't think we were going to make it back, but we made it back before closing hours. Before closing time. Hey, wrecked. Oh, well, you proved me wrong. Oh, crafting now, skill magazine. Reward. We we now have to go with that one. Out of, of all of these, that's what we have to go with. Job, another well, buried supplies. I can't say I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, those are practically the only ones we can afford, right? Or not not afford, but we're closed. Huh. Oh, that was Whoa, okay, where where did that warp us? Actually, we can just press M for the map. Wow, that warped us pretty far. That was <laughs> Threw me for a loop. Big hitters. Wooden Club Quality 3. Primitive Armor Quality 6. Nice. Oh joy, it's nighttime. That wasn't silent nor deadly. No, here he comes. Got him. The old one, two. I still need water. This is. Okay. Well. Oh, you know what? You know what we can do? We can head back to the UFO museum, which. Let's see, if that's the traitor there, the, the UFO museum is going to be nearby. We can drop some things off the crate, you know, lower our carry weight here, and have a little more ability to move around unencumbered. Get a little more speed going. I mean, honestly, that sounds like... That's the best plan I have right now. Hungry again. Maximum stamina reduced. And we're wet.
pretty much everything that could be going wrong in game right now is going wrong. But it's fine. Okay, advanced engineering. Let's take that. Does that unlock anything for us? No. Not right now. It doesn't. Okay. Hmm, we can use that. Um, can of salmon? Absolutely. In these trying times, that'll do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stops bleeding, suture. Can I use that for something else, though? How do I keep missing those? How do I keep missing those shots? Okay. Anyway. I don't have the right thing to wear. Oh, well, I'm also sorry you had to see that, guys. That was ugh, disgusting. Who was that naked guy? The streak handgun parts. Whoo! Okay, that's nice. It was the streak. You know, I, I, I think we need to go through this house here. We need to find some more supplies, and not just old sham sandwiches game. We need to do better. <laughs> ah! Lady, no! Ow, 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 ow. What the heck? Where do they keep coming from? Nope. Fourth in-game death, and that's because, I mean, I couldn't even see where those ones came from. Was I just being too loud or something? Me and my hubris. Sorry, just had to slurp down some water there, you know, some hydration juice. Yeah, we move faster, but that also means... Haha, -ha, saw you. You know what? I don't know where the other one came from. It's a mystery. Hey, it's my wife. Uh, we're not playing fall. I'm not playing Fallout in New Vegas. Okay. I'm playing something else. Uh, it's called Seven Days to Die. It's a zombie crafting survival game. Yeah. It's spooky. Sounds like fun. Sounds good to start playing in October. Uh, yeah, I mentioned that, you know, it's, uh, you know, this non-ambiguous holiday at the end of the month. Yeah. Yeah, I... Where we get to go to a Halloween party. It would... Okay, it's really non-ambiguous now. <laughs> now that we've... Now that we've gone and said it out loud. Nah, it's, it's I'm good. I'm excited about that. I, I think it'll be fun. I mean... What... What do you think they're gonna have at the party there? 
I have no idea. Like, what are you hoping they have? Halloween games. Don't know what that entails, but who knows. Alright. Yeah, so this is... Currently going through a house right now. There are zombies everywhere in this game. And oh, did I men did I forget to mention they can run at night? Oh, they can run? Oh, zombies yeah. Zombies can run? Oh, I mean, I usually the settings I usually use are, you know, they're walk they walk because I mean, honestly, have you ever seen a zombie walk? Have you ever seen a zombie run? That's always my reasoning. But, I mean, here's the thing, here's the thing. In terms of difficulty and having content, feels like I need to go some for something that's a little more difficult, if that makes sense. Mm. Give the people what they want, and that's my pain. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I've already died four times in the game, and I've been playing for like two hours. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, no. It, it might be number five. We might be about... We might be at number five here. How do I keep whipping? Get down! Stay down! Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. Vile, my guy. Clean those floors later. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> Did you just kiss my head, by the way? Yes. While that was happening? Thank yes. you. Very comforting. <laughs> my wife, everybody. My better half. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go play Just Dance. Have fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you need anything? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Thank you. Okay. And, oh, these are good finds. Honey. Because uh, apparently you can stave off in infection in this game mm. with honey and antibiotics, which suggests that the infection isn't even the zombie infection. Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, have you ever heard, you've heard of The Walking Dead, right? The show? Yes, a lot of kids talk about it. Yeah. A lot, of, a kids, lot of people talk, lot of about, people it, talk about it. The only, I haven't really watched it. Yeah, seen a few episodes. But the premise that I've picked up on is, the, well, the reason the show is called that is because they already have the zombie infection inside of them. So when they die, they... Very nice zombie effect. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Have fun dancing. Thank you. Love You're you. welcome. Love you too. I'm just going to be here in some sort of fun misery. <laughs> Isn't she great, guys? Every single time. Oh, gosh! Wait. You're one of them? No! <laughs> Oh gosh. Yeah, she she walks in here like I, I say I've been playing for like two hours and she goes, I know. Which means I literally have and maybe she's slightly annoyed by it. I hope not. Oh gosh. Probably means I have to uh stop playing this after a little bit. Take fifty percent less damage from collapsing mines, that's useful. Oh, yes. Forge ahead. Use that. Scrapping for fun. Oh, that's just a plant. That is only a plant in the corner. Oh. Oh, whew. Really, guys? You got nothing on your shelves over here? Oh, man. Debris! And stay down. So sorry you had to see that. That was nasty. Oh, also, guys. Also, we have... No, no, no. Get out of that. We have this. <laughs> oh. What the heck? Who's that? Uh, 
Well, myth busted. You cannot shoot out of the bathtub, apparently. Please, somebody fix that. That was... I mean, honestly, that was just... rough. Okay. Is that gonna fall out from under me? I feel like that would break if I step on it. Ooh. Don't like that. Okay, I think... Oh gosh! There's always another one. There is always another one. Deep laceration! No! Oh man. It's a good day for down, apparently. Hey! What do we have here? Some glue, some luggage. Oh. Okay, anyway. Okay, okay. Lucky looter volume find. Find more junk and loot, which means a higher quantity. Shotgun tube extender. I will take that. Oh. More, more bandages. Farmer boots. Take those. Sewing kit and some shotgun shells. Okay, okay. Can work with that. Okay, I think the coast is clear. Okay. Right, and we do have a buried supplies mission that we that we need to do. Okay. And so we'll go ahead and do that buried supplies mission, and then I think I'm probably gonna call it after that this episode. Oh, uh, that's a feral one. Why are there ferals out already? Am I high enough level for that already? Is that what happened? Because that's, that's terrifying. If that's the case. Look, I'd be sneaking around right now, but... We have things we need, need to do. Business to attend to. I want to level up. Get used to this zombie apocalypse. Although, really, who can ever get used to a zombie apocalypse? And then... What are we wearing shoe-wise? Commando boots? Oh, runs... Oh, my run speed is increased. That's... That's why. You know, that makes a lot of sense why it feels like I'm moving faster than... the normal. That... Ah, uh, understood. I get it now. I comprehend. Okay, I'm kind of scared to get closer to the treasure or the buried supplies right now because I mean Zombies. The moment zombies show up, I am 
in big trouble. Level up, though? That's fantastic. Um... Okay. Find more bows and parts in loot. Okay. Okay, daytime. We can work with that. We can work with that a little better. Anybody showing up? Anybody at all? No. Okay, no parties. That's good. That's good. I don't want one of those right now. Okay, nobody. Alright, sorry, that whistle was probably very loud in your ears. So sorry about that. And, but, I mean, if you're... Look, guys, I know that whistle was loud, but seriously... I... Please don't sit there and go, but nerdy. Why did you just whistle in our ears? And why did you apologize for it? It's like, I don't really want to have a double standard on that, you know? Let, let's be clear. I I want to be as polite to you guys as I can be because, you know what? You're, you guys are choosing to watch this. You guys are watching this, and I want to treat you guys with respect, right? And so thank, thank you guys for, for sticking with this one, for watching this. Yes, I accidentally whistled in your ears. And yes, I'm going to apologize for it, because it's the right thing to do. <sighs> now, I'm sure that type of thinking would probably get me in big trouble in the zombie apocalypse, because, you know... Can you survive by showing morality and by being apologetic for things? Yes. It's possible. Not going to say it's necessarily... Not going to say it's going to necessarily guarantee your survival. But, I mean, we look at all of these shows about the zombie apocalypse. Like I said earlier, The Walking Dead being one of those... I mean, they, they tend to portray humanity as being a, a group of people that are only in it for themselves and are ruthless and will do almost anything when it's out of desperation. And all of those things are correct. But is it possible as well that people might I don't know, be able to help each other? Be, I mean, be good neighbors even in the worst of times? Maybe? It's entirely possible, I think, but... that I mean, just, just because somebody has morality and manners and wants to do the right thing doesn't mean that they're not going to do what's necessary to protect those that they love. Their families, their friends. You know what I mean? What it what it what that does mean though is people are more likely to be 
I mean, might might make for a little better community where people are willing to work together a little bit more, even in the most trying of times. And you know what? That's the sort of society I would want to be a part of if a zombie apocalypse did happen. Right? That's the sort of place where you look at it and you go, that sounds about perfect. Now what's wrong with it? Right? Because, once again, shows about the zombie apocalypse, it's like, you know, a group may seem nice on the outside, but, man, they're, they are into some dark stuff. Is that necessarily true for every single group? Of course not. Maybe for some. But I highly doubt it's all. I know, I, I've rambled on for a little bit on this subject, and... It's like, nerdy, you're talking about being polite in the zombie apocalypse. Are you serious? I mean, I can be polite in the zombie apocalypse, don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean that I'm going to let somebody just axe me. Or let an undead thing gnaw on my arm. That's that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is in, in the event that something happens like a zombie apocalypse or something that puts people at risk. Let's not do let's not do everything in our effort to make sure that there are more shamblers, right? Or more people not alive. Does that make sense? If our job is to protect humanity and help it to survive, you know, we need to be a community. Sit in. State your business. The same goes for today's face. world, today's day and age. I make us pals. Got it. I honestly, I think where we're at today. I got some. Sh we're we're kind of in a, the same Don't situation. We today? need to be a community. We need. We don't necessarily have to agree with everything that everybody thinks. What we do need to be is good friends, good neighbors, good relatives. Help each other out. Be there for each other. Encouraging one another. It, it sounds very backwards to what we're what we get told about humanity, right? But if we aren't those things, Humanity's gonna look bleak. And we're not we're not gonna be there for each other. We're gonna be at each other's throats in the most extreme circumstances. But then again, it doesn't have to be the zombie apocalypse or rocket science to say that that's a possibility. Because as we established before, people can be very sometimes a little bit self-centered we we know what we want we can be stubborn and reckless and i and i say this all because i'm a human being i speak from experience and i have those moments we need to do what it takes as a society to be a community not not just in it for ourselves But you know what? That long tangent over. I want to thank you guys for watching this one. It's been some time since I've just sat down and done two or three hours of a video game. I know it's been a bit... Like like I've said before, my schedule's a little bit wonky when it comes to this. And... I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment... And if you'd like to see this again, weird topics, funny topics, random things, whatever. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Nerdy Librarian out.